We're going to look now at the water alarm automatic alarm dialer. Uh, this is a nice little product. It can help protect you. Uh, it's, it's basically a flood detection kit. Um, I got this one at Smart Home. Uh, I believe it cost approximately $60 or so. I don't recall exactly. I've had this for about a year. And what it does is it detects whether there's water on the, on the floor and if there is water it will uh, set off an alarm it I believe it makes a noise I haven't tested this in a while and it also will call you on the phone so what it'll do is it'll call you on the phone uh, and you're, you can program in any phone a cell phone or uh, your house phone and uh, it'll tell you that there's a uh, water detected on the floor so how does it work well, basically, uh, you can't really see, perhaps you could see on top, uh, there are a bunch of wires there. The, the wire on the left is a power cable that plugs in. There's also an, uh, batteries behind there for a battery backup in case uh, of a power outage. That's helpful. Then there's a phone cord. The phone cord goes from there into a phone jack so it can dial out. and. On the right, there are a bunch of wires there. Basically, there are two connections, uh, two connectors. It's a, a normally open connection, and when water touches the sensor, it'll close that connection, and that's how the water alarm dialer, the system, will know that water has been detected. Now, although it's, there's only two connectors there, you can daisy chain on uh, a bunch of them together. Basically, you can. I have uh, three sensors hooked up, and I've just connected for each of the three sensors, one wire to the right, one wire on the second connector, and if either of those, and I think if either of those uh, detect water, it'll make the connection across the, across the two uh, connectors, it'll make that connection and set off the alarms. So you can put as many as you want with one uh, water alarm dialer. You just need uh, multiple detectors. Now, I have three of them attached, as I've said, and one of them is in the boiler room, one of them, I, which is this room. The other room, I have one of them in the laundry room, which is a good idea because you have your washer dryer, lots of hoses, a, a pretty good um, uh, likelihood of having a leak there as well. And I have one in a uh, closet where we have a, an ejector pump, which ejects the water from the air conditioning system, the washer, and uh, from some other systems. And uh, you want to make sure if that leaks, you want to be able to detect that as well. And it's actually very important because uh, if you get a leak, you really could uh, suffer a lot of damage. You could, you could, if you have a flood, you could, it could cost you twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in damages, especially today. Uh, with this uh, fear of uh, mold growing, uh, everyone's afraid of mold. If you get a professional uh, uh, company to remove it, it could cost you ten or ten or so thousand dollars. Uh, especially in New York, everything's inflated. Um, on top is just that's part of the burglar alarm system. So it's really this is the only part of the system. So it's very important, and I will tell you that I've already used this once. I was uh, filling up the boiler, we were, I was bleeding it, and I was adding water to the boiler, and I forgot to uh, shut it off. So it kept adding water, I left, I was running to go somewhere, I was in a rush, and it turned out, uh, what happened is the overflow valve on the boiler started uh, spewing out water. Uh, that set off the, uh, the water alarm, and uh, I have it set to, uh, it, to call my wife's cell phone because her, she uses her phone more than uh, I use mine so uh, it's usually on and she got a call and she said uh, I don't know I got this call it says water water or something like that and, and I realized that there was a leak uh, in the basement so I ran down in the boiler room checked it out and I saw that the I had left the boiler uh, water uh, on and that's what uh, and I really had saved myself uh, a major flood because I would have been away I would have never noticed and uh, until it was too late. So this device has already uh, paid for itself many times over. So let's take a look at one of the, at, uh, the sensors. So, so basically you're connecting uh, just these, uh, I think it's 18 gauge wire I have. It's uh, 18 slash 2 wire, 18 gauge, 2 wires, 
and you, like I said, you just connect one to each of those connectors, and you run it across, and you want to run it into an area, the lowest part, and for instance, in the boiler room, uh, we have a lot of piping here, and you want to run it so that if you're, if it's sloped, as it is by me, it's slightly sloped to this area, you want to put the sensor where, at the bottom of that slope, because you want it to catch the water as early as possible. If you put it on the high part of your basement, the water's not going to run there. You want to know where the water's going to run, put a sensor right there. So here's the other end of the sensor. You can splice these. That's just uh, two wires. And if you look at it, on one side, the side it says, this side up, www.protectedhome.com. I don't know what 1024 is. And the other side, the side that so this side faces up, this side faces down. If you can see, it's basically a normally open uh, connection. It's just two connectors. If you And if you make the circuit, and it can make the circuit across any of these, uh, it almost looks like a circuit board. If any of this gets, if any water gets on there, it'll make the connection. And then the main part of it, which is over there, back there, uh, will set off, the, will uh, detect the alarm. So I have three of these, as I said, and why don't we try it out, see what happens. Uh, I'll take a screwdriver, and uh, we'll touch it across just for a second. Maybe it only works if it gets wet. Actually, I think it takes a couple of seconds. Let's see. Okay. I hear. Now the water alarm is beeping. So it does take a couple of seconds. It's not going to let a random uh, bug attack. Uh, uh, to go look. Now the alarm went off. Now the cell phone's ringing. Pick up the cell phone. It says a water alarm. Currently, it says please check conditions at your monitor location immediately. Hello, this is your water alarm calling. The following alarm conditions currently exist or have occurred recently at your monitor location. So a water alarm. It's calling your. It's calling the cell phone, and it's giving you some kind of message that there's an alarm, a water alarm at your location. So now you know that you're having a problem and uh, you need to go check it out. And that's what happened when I had my leak. And I can tell you I was able to, uh, I ran down and the time it took to go off I ran down and there was about half a gallon on the floor. And I can tell you I was on my way to leave my house and had I left it would have let me hit the cancel on this so it doesn't keep dialing. Cancel. Let's see how that works. I, I would have had uh, easily, I don't know, 20 or 30 gallons. Okay, so you hold down the cancel button and it'll stop it. Now, this keypad, it's, it's, it's very cheap. It reminds me of the old uh, uh, Atari 400 computers. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's just some kind of push keypad. But it does the job. Uh, it it works fine enough. You're only going to program it once. You, what you do is, you uh, I think you hold down the program button and you program in your cell phone number or the number you want it to call. Uh, you can test it, which probably does what I did by crossing those two wires. Uh, and uh, like I said, you're getting a little bit of an alarm here. Not much. You probably won't hear it just from this. Uh, but you are getting the call, and you can have it call your cell phone or your home as, as we demonstrated. Now, I mean, there are other options. You could also try Insteon. Uh, my friend has that and he has a program to text him. You have a lot more flexibility with that. But I, I, I'll tell you, uh, with the cost of this, I'm sure the whole thing was under $100. It, it's reliable. It works. It provides you with a degree of protection. Uh, and considering how much it will cost you to have a flood, this really is well worth it. Um, you know, if the problem is you may have your cell phone off, you may not get the alarm, 
but uh, it's not a guarantee, but it certainly is a good thing to have. And that's it. You want to take the uh, sensor, like I said, you find the lowest part, you can put it down, just drop it down there. You want to make sure that it's face down. And I don't know if you can see it. You want to make sure it's face down because if it's not, it may not, uh, it may not uh, be set off by the water. Uh, it's got, it has to be flat down on the concrete uh, because if it's if you don't notice it and it's sideways, uh, it may not short out unless there's more water there and you don't want that to happen. You want it to be flat so it detects the water right away. So okay, it's a good product. I certainly recommend it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you certainly can uh, post it. Take care.